Banjo player Winston Marshall is taking time off from his band Mumford & Sons after taking heat for praising conservative journalist Andy Ngo's book about Antifa. Marshall issuing a statement saying in part over the past few days, I've come to better understand the pain caused by the book I endorsed. As a result of my actions, I am taking time away from the band to examine my blind spots. Let's talk about cancel culture's latest victims with tonight's panel. Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall and author of the upcoming book, Woke Inc., Vivek Ramaswamy. Great to have both of you back. Thank you. Hi, Shannon. So in this book, Andy talks about his efforts to infiltrate Antifa, to walk among them, to what he says expose what are their ideals and goals and how they work. Uh, and apparently this uh, musician had good things to say about the book, like, hey, it maybe is worth reading. Well, Andy Noah is now tweeting this. I grieve for those who are made to suffer because they dare to read my work or talk to me. The danger of Antifa and their allies is not only their willingness to carry out or support maiming, killing, or terrorism, that's his claim, but also how they close curious minds from independent thought. Vivek. Well, look, this is a book that's actually been banned by a number of bookstores in Portland and elsewhere. And I can't name one time in human history, in all of human history, Shannon, where the guys who were clamoring on the side of banning books were actually on the right side of history. But that wasn't enough. Now, anyone who compliments that book has to actually be canceled at risk of losing their job. And I think that's a frightening state. And it's not something that I would say is illegal, but it's a cultural cancer. And it's one that I'm deeply worried about from the standpoint of the integrity of our democracy and our system of open exchange of ideas and debate. Vivek, you're not the only one. Whoopi Goldberg, of all people, not a known conservative, says she's worried about going around canceling characters and Dr. Seuss and everything else. This time it's Pepe Le Pew, the cartoon skunk. Uh, who is in trouble. Here's what Whoopi says. Leslie, what do you think about what Whoopi's saying there? Well, a few things. I watched Pepe Le Pew and I, and I loved it, but I'm still in trauma over Bambi's mom being shot. So I, I think it depends on, you know, perception. And, and look, you have an audience out there, and if anything is offensive, as we saw the Dr. Seuss uh, publicist and, and organization say, look, um, you know, we realize that some of the material was written at a time where we were not where we are as a nation, and it's offensive to some African-American or Asian-American children, and, and we want to do uh, the right thing. You know, look, is there a danger that we uh, get rid of a lot of things? Yes. But I also think it's important that things are recycled and we progress not only uh, as a nation of people, but with what we watch and what we read. And Shannon, as you know, with the Internet, Pepe, Pepe and anything else out there is never gone. <laughs> yeah. You can find it somewhere online. <laughs> Well, we talked about Pierce Morgan in the last block. He is not sitting down against this attempt to cancel him. He says he's not going to be canceled. He said this, on Monday, I said I didn't believe Meghan Markle in her Oprah interview. I've had time to reflect on this opinion, and I still don't. If you did, okay. Freedom of speech is a hill I'm happy to die on. Thanks for all the love and hate. I'm off to spend more time with my opinions. He also tags there a quote he attributes to Winston Churchill saying, some people's idea of free speech is that they are free to say what they like, but if anyone says anything back, that is an outrage. Vivek, I, I got to imagine this is the kind of thing you're going to cover in your book. It is. It, this is this is near, free speech is near and dear to my heart as well. And look, I don't have an opinion on what Ma Meghan Markle did. Actually, following the royal family isn't my cup of tea, it turns out. But <laughs> I do think that for somebody who is, is a public commentator, is a journalist in Britain, to be able to comment on this and share his opinion is part of his job and we should embrace it. And think about what the consequences of this criticism really are. It means that somebody can get on national television in the United States, make potentially unsubstantiated claims against unidentified perpetrators, but then if somebody questions them on television in Britain, they ought to be canceled and removed from their job. The thing I would say about Pierce Morgan is I'm sure he's doing fine and he doesn't have to choose between putting food on the dinner table and speaking mm -hmm. his mind on television and good enough and good for him for taking a stand on this issue. But I actually worry a lot more about the people who aren't media per personalities like Pierce Morgan, who in their everyday mm -hmm. place of work have to make that choice. And that's a lot harder for everyday Americans or everyday Englishmen as well. And we continue to hear from them that they're worried about speaking up because of the potential cost to them or their children or their careers. So this is a topic we'll continue to cover. Leslie and Vivek, come back soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Shannon.